I started talking about this last Thursday or Friday. I can't remember what day. After L.A. came up with this stupid boycott idea, and they sent the mayor out, and they, they said, we have $52 million in contracts we deal with with Arizona. By God, we're going to teach them a lesson. And we had this woman as a member of the L.A. City Council. She said, that's right, $52 million. Of course, of course we're not going to screw around with electricity and water, and there's really only about five or six million dollars in contracts in play to begin we're with. We're not going to screw around with the things that are actually important no. to us. And, so, and I said to my, I said to you, I said, why doesn't the governor, why doesn't somebody stand up and, and tell these people in California, uh, listen, you, we, you may need us more than we need you. Because sitting right over here, 45 miles away from the hot seat of this microphone at KFYI, are three nuclear reactors churning away, making electricity like nobody's business. I don't know how many gigawatts of electricity they make each, each year. But here, I, I'm looking at the newspaper, getting ready for the show this month. No, not our financially, editorially challenged Arizona Republic, but the Washington Times has the story that Arizona Corporation Commissioner Gary Pierce wrote a letter to the mayor of Los Angeles, and he basically said, we'll be happy to renegotiate your rates over there, mayor. And he's on the, Gary, Gary's on the lines with us uh, right now. And so first thing I want you to know, uh, Gary, is that uh, today on this program is Gary Pierce Day. And, and with that, you get... Well, we, we don't have the budget to give you anything, but, but you have our admiration. And, and you've, you've, got the, uh, you've got the golden trophy of what we call gonads. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's good. I appreciate everything I can get at this point. Um, has the mayor of Los Angeles responded to your polite letter yet? No, he hasn't, and I appreciate you calling it polite. Well, what? what? <laughs> it was, it was well, um, assertive. Maybe, it was is more so than what it we're was. looking for here. But my, can I quote this again? I and I'm only quoting the pieces that the uh, that the Washington Times uh, printed, as opposed to nothing that the Arizona Republic decided to print to try to keep everybody in the dark here. Um, you wrote, I'm confident that Arizona's utilities would be happy to take all those electrons off your hands. That's the power that we send over. To uh, Los Angeles, how much power does our Palo Verde nuclear power facility send over to LA each year? Well, for it's nine percent of the energy they consume is from Palo Verde. Uh, they actually own five point seven percent of Palo Verde, mm-hmm. uh, but they get they I think they have a purchase power agreement for some more. But they get quite a bit of power up at the Navajo generating station. They get. Uh, I think 13.5% of their power comes from there. Do they get anything from uh, from uh, up at Hoover uh, Hoover Dam? Do they get any of that power? Oh, yeah, that's their renewable energy. I see. It's, uh, they get about 2% of their energy. So if you add all that together, it's, it's right at 25%. Because everybody's got to understand that half the generating uh, capacity up at Hoover Dam is over on our side of the river. Um, oh yeah! Oh, that's right. That's right. It, these are these are these. This is power generated in Arizona. So, all right. So they they have cut loose on us with this threat of a boycott, a threat of screwing around with fifty two million dollars in contracts, which, as we now find out, about forty seven point five million can't be tinkered with. What What about water? Do you do they get do they get water from? Are, are they dependent on us for any water? Well, now. You know, I think actually those are compacts that come. The Colorado Rivers is assigned and has been for a long, long time. I think the bigger battle is that they want more of our water, mm-hmm. uh, and they and they want it through uh, a legislative, a, con- a congressional um, uh, move, and so that's something we have to defend ourselves against. And I, but but water isn't something that uh, that we can uh, freely negotiate with them on, but. But the electricity is obviously something very, you know, interestingly, and, and you, you've covered the whole the whole gamut of this because it's the Arizona Republic. Uh, I, I honestly, after the, after we wrote the le- after we released the letter at 10 a.m. yesterday, uh, conveniently not to be on your show, as you can tell, uh, we we uh, not, not really intentional, but but we I didn't expect to get it from the Arizona Republic, a, a comment or a call. But we've been we've been getting we've done talk radio uh, in in L.A. a lot in Seattle and uh, and all these these other responses, but no responses from newspaper in, in Arizona that I can tell yet. Well, I now see again. This is 
This is something that I'm going to take this opportunity, and I will make sure that in case this has a blowback, that it doesn't get on you unless you want it to. But this is something that some of the old guard in our community has not yet awakened to discover. There was a time with the Pulliam family and all of that. Uh, there was a time that the Arizona Republic made or broke news or held news back and kept this community dark. It was in charge of everything this community thought of and everything it, it dealt with and just everything that was on, you know, the horizon. That, it, it was filtered through the Arizona Republic. But, you know, President, uh, President Obama came out the other day and said, you don't know how to work the Game Boy and the X-Boy and the, and the, and the Twitter and the, and the phone. He knows, you know, he doesn't understand all of this. And news can be very, uh, what was the word that he used, Babinski? It can be very distracting. And uh, they're waking up to find out that there are other media outlets over at the Republic. And son of a gun, your story got out regardless of... Uh... Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that something? And, you know, look, um, here's another thing, too. If they really did miss the story, because they really did miss the story, we can always... How much does the Republic cost each day now? Anybody know? Is it 70? Uh, it, that's a great I question. I, I get mine every day. You got, I, you guys, I admit that I get one delivered to my um, home. It's free. Day. We steal them from KEZ. Oh, I understand. <laughs> but KEZ pays 75 cents. So the motto of the Republic... Yeah, 70, 75, 75 cents. Well, Gary, here's the thing. What do you expect for 75 cents? Well, I agree, but you know, you know, you know, Barry Michelle, uh, Melody Burkett was hot on it. She was right after me. Well, of uh, course she was. That's our crack KFY That's news right. chef. Well, Melody's That's after right. all the guys, though. You got to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe that's the case. Listen, congrat- congratulations. The letter is well crafted, well written. And if you will send us a copy of the letter. Um, and I'll, I'll put you on hold for a second. Do we have it? We've already got it. We oh, ne- never, outstanding. Never mind. We're such a crack team over here. We already got the letter, and we've got it posted on the KFYI.com website. So congratu- oh. congratulations. You win the Cajoni Award for today. I am honored. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Gary. Stay in contact right, with us. Guys. Gary Pierce of the Arizona Corporation Commission. That's interesting. Los Angeles Talk Radio is calling him. Other talk shows, well, other, and, and, and other it's newspapers. It's funny, and I, I need to mention this. He said Seattle. Well, you know, in, in all of their um, a, a genius up there, the Seattle Council has voted to boycott us, even though the mo- the majority of their citizens support SB 1070. But, the, but they have also voted to to boycott us, so I can see why the first call he's gotten, or oh he's gotten God. from Los Angeles I just, and Seattle. I just, listen, I, just got, I just got a note. Our KFY crack news team just found out. You know what they're doing at the Republic up on the top floor right now? They're standing at the window looking east saying, I can see KFYI from here! <laughs> 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 